press your skin looks as good as it does. <laughs> Everyone and hello. No, you oh my hello. gosh, you're right. <laughs> what kind of user am I? I? Can't even follow my own introduction. <laughs> hello, everyone. <laughs> you can tell he's not on his channel. He's like, yeah. it's all, all it's all been forgotten. It's, it's because I'm not in Hawaii. Home. I'm in, we're in LA right now, so that's why I'm just like. Our background is tricking you. We're not <laughs> in Hawaii. LA wishes. LA wishes it was in Hawaii. Okay, I'm so excited. In person collabs are back. You guys, we're here, we're doing it. We have been trying to make this happen for, for like two so years long. now. So long, but it is since like, I think like the beginning of COVID was yes. when we like first connected. It has yes. been a long time coming. I'm so excited. I am so excited. And I am an OG Hiram stan. I have been following Hiram since like either right before you hit 100K or right after. Okay. Like I am a true OG. I've been there for the journey. And I remember just like at one point during the pandemic, like looking up something about skincare and going to your channel and being like, <laughs> Sorry, what happened? So My sweet. Hiram? <laughs> like, I could, I'm so proud of you. Thank you come you. so, so far. You're like still my favorite. I like, like found lots, plenty of other like skincare people. I'm like, no, nah, they ain't Hiram though. Like I love your content. No shades to so anybody sweet. else. You're all wonderful creators. I, they're but all awesome, so good. But I thank just, you. Oh there's, you're just like a ray of sunshine. And I'm happy you're being sunshiny right here with all of us on my channel. We're also doing a video over on Hiram's channel. Yes. I am giving him a facial. Yes, using skincare products that I love. And we're gonna see how the experience is, which I'm excited for. So go check that out if you guys, if you guys want to watch. We haven't filmed that yet, so yeah. I'm also <laughs> excited and a little bit nervous mm -hmm. to touch your face, mm -hmm. but- He'll do a good job. Go check that video out. It'll be linked below as well, but you see it from the title. Today, I am lucky enough to have Hiram create a skincare routine <laughs> for me, but not just one. I have somehow yes. roped him in <laughs> to creating two skincare routines. Honestly, it's okay. Exploit me as much as you want. Like with the entertainment that I've gone and the, from watching your content, I feel like it, it's well due. So I'm gonna be making two skincare routines for you. And like kind of, we'll talk about why we decided to do two skincare yes. routines as opposed to one. Well, we were just talking right before filming about how like skincare is so dependent on like the season, the weather, where you are, your skin, your hair, everything has to change. And yep. you guys know I live in two different places. I live in BC and LA. So the rainforest and the desert, yep. which could not treat your skin any more differently. And I remember when I first moved to LA four and a half years ago, mm -hmm. even my, my dog started getting flaky skin. Yeah, oh my gosh, because it, it just sucks all the moisture out mm -hmm. of your skin. I know like people who live in LA think that it's like nice and tropical and kind of like humid, but I'm like, oh my gosh, it is so dry here. Whenever I come here, I'm like, wow, I magically have dry skin all of a sudden when I normally have oily skin. Yes. So it is, it's super important. And I'm glad you're kind of talking about that because that's one thing I've always wanted to stress on my channel is like skincare routines really depend on where you are and what the climate you're in. If you have oily skin and you're using some super rich moisturizer on your skin while you're in a tropical environment you're gonna hate your life you know that's and that's why there's no is. like one size fits all with skincare right yeah. it's not like one oily skin product is gonna mm -hmm. change the game for everybody with oily skin like it just doesn't work like that it's yeah. it's so specific to each individual finding the routine that works for you yeah it but now I don't have to find it you have yes, to find it for me. I will be <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your routine like the type of products that you use and then I thought I would just build out the routine from there and originally I was gonna buy you like all the products and like give them to you but I was like you know what I already know that you're addicted to skincare <laughs> just like me and she probably has a lot of products and I don't even know if she's gonna use all these or if they're gonna be right because I still oh no I'll be out stuff. buying them I will be out <laughs> <laughs> and buying all of them. That well, is don't my even plan. worry. What I will do, we can build the routines together and then I'll send them to you. That is so kind. That is so. so kind. Tell me, tell me about your skin. Okay. Tell me your skin problems. I want to know all the details. So it's taken me like, because I can't see my own skin, it's mm. taken me a long time to understand my skin. Yeah, because there's be only so much you can feel. Yeah, you know that's what I mean? Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. And I, 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 there's also just certain things that people talk about in the skincare world that I don't understand. Mm. Like, I will never conceptualize pores. Mm -hmm. I will yeah. never properly conceptualize um, freckles, discoloration, sunspots. Like, these are things that I just, I've never seen them, I never mm -hmm. will. And so it's very hard for me to understand them. And of course, I certainly don't know if I, if I have them, I know I have freckles, 
But other than that, like it's it's hard for me unless other people tell me yeah. to know. And so it's taken me a long time going to different estheticians, getting facials, talking to my makeup artists, nice. what they see with mm -hmm. my skin, and just I'm always asking and I'm always so hungry to learn. Oh, I love that. Because it's like I'm literally learning about myself, mm -hmm. the things that I will never be able to figure out on my own. And so what I've come to understand is that I have normal to combination skin depending okay. on the season and where I'm at. Okay. But it's dehydrated. Oh, okay. And like many people, I was very confused by how I could have dehydrated skin if I don't have dry skin. Yes. And I realized they're Entirely separate Two issues. Two different problems. Skin type, yep. skin concern. Yes. Oh, and I'm so glad you know that. See, that's why I know you know you're, you're you know that's you're know I'm a skin yeah. addict. <laughs> <laughs> There's a huge difference. And for anyone who doesn't know, like dry skin is a skin type where um, you know your skin is consistently. Uh, you may see like things like flakiness, and your skin is very tight and it's stripped, and you you don't ever see like shininess or oiliness. Um, while dehydration can occur in any skin type. Um, um, like for example, I have oily skin, but also struggle with dehydration. I'm glad you know that. Yes. <laughs> and then, I'm, I mean, I'm anti-aging. That's like okay. always, you know, I mean, I'm 28. I'm not getting any oh, younger. Oh, I didn't know you are 28. Wow. Yes. You look so great for 28. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I've been, know. I've been like ID'd a few times in the last few days <laughs> and you have no idea how much my ego is <laughs> Just through Like the I was explodes. just like, oh my God, I'm feeling so good. But the, the amount of times I've been asked, are you 21? And I'm like. You're like, oh, yes. I'm 28. Let me show you my ID. <laughs> like, don't even worry about it. It's, it's been it's been fabulous because I've been getting stressed about the fact that I'm 28. Mm -hmm. Um, specifically with my skin. So I'm. Okay. I'm you know, it's all about preventing it. premature aging. Yes. You know, like it's it's about making sure that you're taking care of your skin as best as possible so that it's not making that unnecessary damage yes. like wrinkles and fine lines. And I'm glad that you're aware of that now because it's so much easier to prevent that long-term damage now than it is 30 years down the road to be like, I would have clients all the time that would come in who were like, you know, 67 years, 70 years old and they'd be like, okay, how do I get rid of my wrinkles? Like, <laughs> what product takes, you know, takes away all of them? And I'm like, uh, a facelift. A time machine. <laughs> like, that's good that you're doing it now that you're starting to prioritize that because it'll help make it so much easier. Down and I'm not like against aging. Like I, good, I, I, I have no problems with people, you know, doing filler or Botox like that's mm -hmm. you live your best life. That's not the journey that I see for myself. Mm -hmm. I would like to kind of like age gracefully. Yes. So it's like, I don't want, I'm not against aging. I think the aging process is beautiful and should be celebrated. Yes. And there's so much Absolutely pressure, agree. especially on women mm -hmm. to not age and to like, stay this preserved 15 year old face forever, which is yep. kind of creepy and weird. Oh yeah. It's and so I'm not like, I'm not against that. Okay, I good. just, it's like the premature aging, as you yep. said, is what I want to like stay on top of and make sure since I don't want to do any of those things mm -hmm. that I am preserving what I can as well as I can through taking the right step. That's what I completely agree with. And I really believe in, and I think I have some products that would I can recommend to you okay. for your routine. So we're gonna break this between dry climate and rainforest climate. So when it comes to dry climate and obviously you having normal to combination skin, I would guess it's a little bit more normal, maybe even on the dry side in the desert climate. Yes, I'm guessing. yes, okay. yes. Yep, yep. And then obviously rainforest where it's more humid, um, that's where I'm thinking products that help to balance oiliness on the skin, control it, making sure that you're not looking too greasy that you're not you know struggling with the product staying on your skin so honestly i am like doing this off the whim i'm gonna go based off of like what's in my head for like all my favorite products that i recommend okay. the ones that i have found that are just like the best of the best that's what i'm gonna be recommending to you i'm okay. going through it real quick if that works for you. yeah dude, okay. rrr, 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 yeah i know like, you just know, like go yeah. through the catalog yeah, i am sure you have so many products stored in your mind like <laughs> You know, it's embarrassing. I'm the type of person where I won't even be able to remember like what happened like three minutes ago. But you asked me about a skincare product. I'm like, oh, that's the one that's $29 that has this ingredient and has this benefit. I don't understand my mind. So I love here we go. It. We'll see how it works. So I'm thinking for a dry climate, you want to first use a cleanser that is not going to be overly stripping to the skin. Cleansing can be one of the most damaging parts of the skincare routine, so it's really important to make sure that it doesn't overly strip, dry out, leave your skin with that tight strip feeling because that's not a good sign. So one that I think would be amazing, have you heard of Crave Beauty before? 
I have, but I've never tried it. Oh my gosh, like literally one of the best, if not like the best brands out there. It's it's incredible. Um, and they have a matcha hemp hydrating cleanser. I'm sorry, yeah. I love matcha so oh, really? much. Just okay, hearing the word matcha makes me <laughs> joyful. Just like... don't drink it. Just don't drink the cleanser, <laughs> please. Like enough. a little for my face, a little for my stomach. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I do not endorse any, you know, possible ailments that would come from <laughs> consuming. <laughs> <laughs> but no, matcha is amazing for like calming redness and irritation. But the reason I love this cleanser is that it's so gentle on the skin, particularly if you you know are struggling with a dry climate, redness, irritation. Um, it's a great one to be able to make sure it doesn't overly strip the skin, but most importantly, doesn't irritate it in the process. Um, it's a good balance, I think really good for anyone in a more dry climate. So that would be the first product that I highly recommend. Um, I'm gonna link all of these products down below, yes. by the way, as well, in case any of you are interested in trying them as well. Yeah, okay, perfect. Um, the next product, so for a dry desert climate. Now, I feel like during how do you feel about like night routines versus day routines? Oh, so okay, my, I should go through that. My morning routine, all I do is warm water on a face cloth, just kind okay. of a gentle rinse of my face. Mm -hmm. Then I do a toner. Mm -hmm. I will, if my skin's really dehydrated, do some kind of hydration serum. Okay. And then I will do like my daily moisturizer slash SPF. Okay. So that's my morning. So I keep it like very simple. Super simple. And then gotcha. in the evenings is when I do my double cleanse. So remove nice. the makeup, then the cleanser. Then I do, I mean, that's when I go ham. I love, I love like <laughs> evening skin yes. routine. So that's when I'll do, depends like if I have an exfoliated, like I'll exfoliate. I don't do it every day because obviously Good. I don't want to over exfoliate my skin, but sometimes I'll exfoliate or if I need some acne treatment, I'll do some like a spot treatment, like a clay mask okay, spot cool. treatment. And then I do a serum. I've been doing retinol recently. Nice. So I've been experimenting with that. I've tried a couple of different ones. I've tried the selfless one. Okay, I've yeah. tried CeraVe. Thank you. Okay, yep. So those are the only two retinols I've tried so far. Oh, okay. and I've just started trying a pharmacy one. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, Getting into that retinol game, which is yes. good because if you're talking about like preventing premature aging, retinol is where the money's at. That's so I've heard. Right? Yeah. That was, that's <laughs> been my 28 year old venture into retinol. <laughs> and then I will do like an eye cream. I know you think eye creams are just expensive. It depends. Creams. Yeah, it depends on the eye cream. You know, some of them I've actually recently been getting into some of them because like sometimes with like dark circles, oh. Man, sometimes an eye cream can be really helpful. So it just, it just depends. Yes. You know, not too mad eye creams. <laughs> um, and then again, like depends on where I am in the day, but like sometimes I'll use a face oil, sometimes I'll use a moisturizer. Gotcha. Okay, sweet. Awesome. Great to know because I completely agree with Oh, your and philosophy. a toner. I always use a toner. Oh, okay. At so night too. Yes, at night too. Okay, cool, cool. I completely agree with your philosophy when it comes to like daytime versus nighttime. Daytime, I keep ultra simple. Like usually I keep to like four products. Nighttime is when I just like will swap depending on the mm -hmm. night, like so many different products yes. because that's when you can just repair your skin. You don't have to worry about how it looks. You don't have to worry about like, greasiness or shininess or any of that kind of stuff. It's a good approach. Completely agree. I personally like recommending products that work good as multitaskers. So mm -hmm. like you can use it during the daytime and nighttime rather than having to switch it up between both routines. So for a moisturizer for like the dry desert climate, have you ever tried the Skin Fix Triple Lipid Peptide Cream? No. Oh my gosh, it is. I've never like... even heard of that brand. <laughs> Skin Fix, really. So um, actually the founder who I know is from Canada, she um, developed it for people who struggle with really severe eczema. Um, and it has this incredible technology and data um, behind the formulation. Uh, I didn't get into it for a while because I just didn't try, but when I tried this moisturizer and started recommending it to people in my life and to my followers, it's one of the top favorite products from all of my followers who are, oh, wow. who are watching. It is incredible because every time you use it, your skin just looks revitalized. It looks plump, moisturized. It does a really good job of deeply moisturizing. And I recommend that one because it's a little bit of a thicker consistency. It is, she is, she is thick, you know, she's a thick girl. And it's great for nighttime, but depending on the climate for the daytime, it can also be a great option. Necessary, I think, um, type of product, a good rich moisturizer for the desert climate. I already know that you love the serum retinol yes, game. Yes. And retinol is a really good ingredient to use in areas that are really sunny um, because it's an incredible ingredient for repairing sun damage in the skin. So mm -hmm. retinol doesn't only work to, you know, minimize fine lines and aging, as well as, you know, dark spots and hyperpigmentation. It's also great for repairing any sun damage, redness, 
irritation that you see. But it's a tricky ingredient. You want to be careful with it, yes. of course. Only use it overnight. In the dry desert climates, overnight, I would say um, there's two different retinol products. One that I was going to recommend is the Selfless by Hiram Retinol Rainbow Algae Repair Serum, which you have tried yes. already. Um, uh, that one's great because it has squalane, which is a really rich, nourishing oil to really moisturize your skin and compensate for the drying side mm -hmm. effects of retinol because sometimes oh my gosh I'm, have you used a retinol before where afterwards you're like oh my god my skin is so dry yeah no yours didn't do that to me at all oh good yeah no <laughs> thank goodness I, I also actually i i love the um the face wash and i love the moisturizer oh thank you yeah. i appreciate i actually it. used the moisturizer this morning uh, that one's you know a great one for that or if you want kind of like a little bit more of like a luxury experience um, for retinol. The Shani Darden um, Retinol Reform Serum. Uh, you know, I'm biased in liking my own serum the most, but besides that, that one's my next favorite retinol. And I think it's great to use in the desert weather because not only will it help to repair your skin overnight from any sun damage that you're experiencing, but alongside the Skin Fix Moisturizer, French kiss. Not French kiss, chef's kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Chef's I'm kiss. changing I'm it, you guys. It's now French kiss. You know what's embarrassing? I've done that too many times. I need, oh my gosh, chef's kiss. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> and then finally, most important for dry desert climate, sunscreen. Uh, how do you feel about mineral sunscreens? That's what I use. Okay, I use good. mineral sunscreen. Sweet. Yeah, I just think mineral is like the best for yeah. sensitive skin. Um, and it just, it works really well at protecting the skin from any sun damage. And protecting the coral reefs. Yeah, uh, yeah. One of my recent favorites, this, I recently just made a best sunscreens video and this one made the top of the list. Have you tried the Hero Cosmetics Super Light Sunscreen? No, but I love the idea that it's super light. Love, yes. Love that part of it yes. because I put it under makeup, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's the hard part about the morning routine mm -hmm. is finding one that's comfortable under makeup. Mm -hmm. Definitely. This one is so lightweight. I was honestly blown away the first time I used it because I was like, oh my gosh, what is this formula? It is like a dream to apply on the skin. And you can find it at like Ulta. I believe you can find it at like Target too. It's a great one. Highly recommend. And it's mineral SPF 30. Because sometimes in like the desert and even here in LA with how sun the strong is. How, how sun the strong. How strong the sun is. It can be, it can make the sunscreen feel kind of like heavy and unpleasant on the skin. Yeah. So it's a great option. And I think it's like $20. So it's That's like a really great. good price for yeah. too. Yeah. Is there anything you recommend for being able to use sunscreen like over your makeup because that's the problem right like mm -hmm. you have to consistently reapply your sunscreen throughout the day yes. but as a makeup wearer that can get tricky sometimes it's honestly really difficult and the problem is i haven't talked about this much on my channel just because i haven't found a really effective way of applying sunscreen yeah. over top of your makeup because there's powder sunscreens but honestly you're probably getting like an spf 5 at best with mm -hmm. how little you, you'd have to cake your face up like yeah. you would have to you know look like you're putting baking powder all over your face in order to get the full protection there's also like the sunscreen mist but it's the same type of thing there you're only getting like maybe an spf 5 protection and they are not the best for the environment either. yes yeah, they are they're not, yeah, yeah it's not great just across the board so i still haven't found that yet i think my main thing is just like at that point if you are, have to you know, wear makeup and you have to be like out and about, physical sun protection. So whether that's like umbrella, sunglasses, uh, um, yeah. staying in the shade, just avoiding the sun where you can. It's just kind of across the board the best thing that you can do. Yes. That's honestly the only thing I found yeah. that works. Because if, if anyone out there knows like a really good alternative recommendation, let me know. Help us let out. Let us know. Yeah. Help us out. Uh, because I'm still searching. <laughs> How does that sound for like a daytime routine? Is yeah, that, that sounds manageable? great. manageable. It's good. Very easy, very simple. Is there a toner you'd recommend? Ooh. So I, I usually have been doing a glycolic acid toner in the morning. I don't know if that's <gasps> a good thing or a bad thing. It's a bad thing. It feels like a bad thing. Oh, in the daytime? Yeah. <sighs> Oh, he's mad. He's mad. <laughs> Glycolic acid is an amazing exfoliant, really strong on the face, so it does a really good job of just clearing out all the dead skin cells. The problem is, when exposed to sunlight, it can actually cause excessive damage in the skin and sensitize and irritate the skin, which is why glycolic acid is meant to be used overnight. But the problem is, during the day. I can't use retinol and glycolic acid. Yes, so that's actually why I recommend to just trade off which nights you're using what. Okay. So the way I go about it personally is one night I'll exfoliate, one night I'll use retinol, and then one night I'll focus on barrier repair. And I just repeat, repeat, repeat. repeat, 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 repeat. 
but I just do that cycle because you don't want to exfoliate your skin every day because that can over exfoliate it. Right. Um, you don't want to use retinol. I mean, you can use retinol every single day. I personally think the best way to do it is like every other night at okay. most. And I think it's also good to give your skin a break so you're not constantly exfoliating and constantly using retinol. If you're using glycolic acid during the day, that can make things like dark spots um, on your skin a lot more intense. Um, it can make dark circles. I don't want, I don't want to hear anymore. I don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> I don't want to hear anymore. Just, hear anymore. just as like, long as you know to use it during the night. Got it, got it. I don't, I don't need to scar myself <laughs> physically or emotionally by hearing anymore of this. Yeah, I, I will just, um, I'll, I'll just say ignorance is bliss yes. right now, and now you know what to do. Yes. Um, use it overnight, not during the day. Okay. I'm just impressed your skin looks as good as it does. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> wow, you've been doing that really? <laughs> so toner, are you looking for more like exfoliating toner or more like a hydrating toner? What are you kind of- You doing? tell me. Okay. <laughs> well, because I didn't mention an exfoliant in this one, um, and you like glycolic acid. Yes. Seems like you really like that one. Um, let's see off the top of my head. I one of the ones I've liked in the past is the um, there's the glycolic acid toner from the Inky List. That was okay. a good, affordable, effective one. When it comes to that glycolic acid, in my opinion, just like good simple formula is great for just getting that exfoliation. Just as kind of like a balance just to make sure you're not over exfoliating your skin. Cause sometimes glycolic acid, that's one of those ingredients that I recommend using like once to twice a week. Okay. Personally. So is there like a hydrating, <laughs> say, say on the days when I'm doing the retinol, mm -hmm. is there a hydrating toner that you can oh, yeah. good to yeah. company with? I, um, are you a fan of essences? Yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, Cause toner and essence are honestly very similar. They're so similar. If I use yeah. one, I don't use the other. Like it yeah. depends on my routine at the time. They're but. super similar. There is the Isentree um, fermented uh, essence that is really good, um, which is a Korean skincare brand um, that utilizes a lot of really high quality um, ferments, which are great for not only hydrating the skin, but helping to balance the prebiotics and probiotics on your skin. So if you're struggling with any type of concern, it really helps with that and it just boosts the health of the skin in addition to being really hydrating and nourishing as well. Um, and there's also, what is it? His computer. I know it's going. Is, oh, <laughs> also the Isentree Green Tea Toner. I'm not the biggest toner person. Like I personally don't use them in my routine, but I love that one. There's a uh, Green Tea Toner. Green Tea being amazing for. Well, we talked about matcha before. Yes. Same type of benefits. That one's nice and hydrating, but doesn't feel heavy on the skin. So either of those. I remember there was this cleansing balm you used to be obsessed with. Probably still. It, I might actually have it with me. You might be using it in my routine. Oh my is it god. The, um, then I met you living cleansing balm. I think. It's like a mango one. I think so. Okay. And I kept like trying to buy it because that's how I remove my makeup. I always remove my makeup at yeah. night with a cleansing balm. I've been using the same one for 10 years and I like simply adore it. But like oh, yeah. I love trying new products. Oh so it's gosh. like I'm like, I, I was always trying to order it and it was always sold out because every video really? you would talk about it and I'd be like, oh, I'll click on the link and then it'd be sold out. <laughs> it might be this one. I think cleansing balm is the best way to remove yes. makeup because it doesn't strip the skin. It's still really nourishing. Um, so yes, if you're looking for, and that one's really moisturizing to the skin too, which is one of the reasons I love it. So, so that's dry. perfect for the desert. Oh, yeah. yes, and perfect. one thing we never want to do is use makeup removing yes. wipes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Shout it from the rooftops. <laughs> we don't do that over here. We don't no. do that around here. The only odd time I will do that is if I'm like traveling mm -hmm. and there's like no room and I forgot makeup remover. Yeah, and like I emergency just, like, situation, emergency SOS situation. on your deathbed. Type but of that is vibe. never the go-to <laughs> choice. Never. Nay, nay, it's Never. bad for the environment, it's bad for our skin, it's ineffective. Nah. Preach. Solid recommendations for desert weather. Sweet. What about our rainforest skin? Rainforest, we want to flip it on its head. So because you have normal combination skin in a more humid environment like the rainforest, that's where your skin can get a little bit excessively oily, get a little bit shiny, and you want to kind of approach it with a different mindset for products. So honestly, for the cleanser, selfless, by Hiram Cleanser is a really great one for that type of environment. Um, you know, the majority of the time I was testing it, I was testing it out in Hawaii in the humid weather where I live. Um, it's a great one. So because you've already used it, I'd say just like keep going with that one. Great. Don't have to get a new product. Not mad at it. <laughs> for um, 
the daytime. Now, have you used salicylic acid before? No. So salicylic acid is great if you struggle with combination to oily skin or you're in humid environments because not only does it deeply exfoliate the pores to make sure that you don't have breakouts, that you don't have- I was gonna say, I, I hear it for acne. Like, yeah. I hear about it in acne products. And it's really good for acne and breakouts when it's in high concentrations. But the nice thing about salicylic acid is that it does a really good job of just controlling the oiliness of your skin and making sure that you don't get too greasy throughout the day. But a lot of times in products is that such a high concentration that it's really only relevant to people who struggle with breakouts. In, if it's in a low concentration, it makes it amazing for those more humid environments. And um, for example, my, uh, uh, the Selfless by Hiram salicylic acid serum, it has it in a 0.5% concentration rather than most products which have it in a 2% concentration. Oh, wow. And there's also other like Korean toners out there that have a low concentration of salicylic acid as okay. well to control that oiliness. So depending on what you're feeling, there's options out there, and I think it's a great one for anyone who is in a more human environment. Okay. I think it's perfect for that. Do you Have you ever struggled with breakouts? Yes, actually, I went on medication. Really? When I was like 18? 18. No, um, it's, <laughs> it's called tetracycline. Oh, tetracycline, yeah. Yeah, so it's apparently like its original use was for like chlamydia or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Like I think it was like an STI Some medication. ST yeah and then they found it had the benefit of clearing acne and mm. i had really bad acne from like 16 to 18 mm. and at the time when i was 18 i was like going into boardroom meetings and like mm. i was working full time i was touring mm. full time on these stages and performing and i was like i feel like nobody's taking me seriously i feel mm -hmm. like a a child with like acne all over my face mm. so bad and I had like cystic acne mm -hmm. and whiteheads and blackheads like I had all of it and yeah. so I went to my doctor she was like well I don't want to put you I went to a dermatologist and she's mm -hmm. like I don't want to put you right on Accutane because that's yeah. like you know last really resort. intense really yeah. intense so she said let's do tetracycline so I did six weeks of tetracycline okay and done that's yeah. it like acne was cleared and You'll I never recently be able to tell. Thank you. And I recently started struggling with my acne again this year mm -hmm. because I've been having hormone treatment mm -hmm. and hormones play a big role for females, especially yeah. with acne. And so my acne really increased and I was telling my hormone specialist and she was like, okay, let's adjust your hormone cream dosage. Okay. So we adjusted that. And so now my skin has gone back to like little to no acne. Yay. So I'm very pleased. Cause I was Good. like, oh no, we were talking like, we might have to do tetracycline again. Yeah, and a lot. yes, so I was very happy to be able to avoid that. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, well, I'm great. I'm glad that your journey and experience has been good. So you don't have to worry too much about that because that is a big struggle and difficult to get rid of. Yes. So that's awesome. Okay, perfect. And then for moisturizer, honestly for a moisturizer, if you're using it in addition to like salicylic acids, I say go for one that's a gel cream and lightweight on the skin. So do you know the brand first? The skincare brand no. first? Ooh, so they're at Target. They're a really good one. Um, they have like really luxury feeling products, but I think all their products are like $25 and under. So good price point. And their Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream is so good because it's lightweight on the skin, doesn't feel heavy, but still packs a punch for hydration and moisture. So that way you don't compromise your skin and the way it looks in that environment while still getting that necessary hydration and moisture. And it's, I think at $15. So it's a really good price point and and it's super lightweight. And this is like a, a It's fragrance free. Uh, it's a moisturizer. Moisturizer, okay. So just to make sure that your skin feels hydrated, nourished Ooh. throughout the it's day. It's like very lightweight. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a gel consistency. Yes, yep. And gel works the best. Um, I love gel under makeup. Like gel moisturizers under makeup is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it just makes the skin look so nice. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything or that you don't yeah. have anything on your face great option and this one I travel with a lot because it's so good for so many different types of environments. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then for the sunscreen, I personally would recommend a sunscreen that works really good to help keep the skin more mattified. Cause yes. sunscreen has this issue and probably a lot of you guys who are watching have experienced this. If you use a sunscreen, like it tends to make the skin look so oily, like shiny, just yes. super, super shiny. And that bothers me so much. So the Bliss Blockstar SPF 30 is my personal favorite one. It's a tinted sunscreen, okay. but it's very slight. So it's not anything that looks intense or like tinted moisturizer. It's very slight to help um, offset any white cast that could be in the sunscreen. But the reason 
reason I love it so much is that it keeps the skin skin's oiliness at bay so you don't have to worry about your skin looking shiny greasy at any point it works better than any sunscreen i've ever found and i talk about it in almost every video of my channel like one of my top sunscreens okay of all time. and it's also at target too we love affordability honestly exactly. i am guilty like of always going for like higher end or pricier mm -hmm. skincare until this year like this year <laughs> i was just really like there's gotta be better price points like yep. there's got to be products that work at better price points and i that's when i started like experimenting with CeraVe and mm -hmm. um di other different brands that are more drugstore price point and i was like there's some really great products like truly truly yeah. truly i and i always say this all my followers know i'm like a stickler for quality i am probably the most um, like critical of quality of anybody I know. <laughs> I'm just like That's very, I really good. think that if you're spending money, you should be getting something good. Yes. And I think a lot of times we can confuse quality and expensive. Mm -hmm. And all, all the time, yeah. very much so in like clothing, you can find beautiful high quality pieces at inexpensive prices, mm -hmm. even if that means just shopping sales sections. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I would any day in the week, like when I had very little money, like mm -hmm. I did not, I was very broke. Mm -hmm. I would not buy inexpensive clothes. I would buy expensive clothes on sale. Oh, gotcha. And yeah, they were yeah. ultimately the same price mm -hmm. as if I was buying inexpensive clothing. Yeah. But I was getting the higher quality pieces and I, I, so I really stress it, and you can find like designer items that are yes. horrible quality, horrible. It's like mm -hmm. actually shocking sometimes. And it's the same with skincare. Like that's always the message I want to send is like, if you want to spend a lot of money on skincare, you can, yes. but you don't have to spend a lot of money on skincare to, to have, have a good, good skincare skin. routine. Exactly, skin. exactly. Yes. It's, it really just comes down to like what you're comfortable with, price point. You can really find good skincare products at any price points. And I, I always try to find like, I always just love to recommend products that are as affordable as possible. And so that's why I always just love like shopping drugstore or a lot of Korean skincare brands because it's just like, you'll get like 20, $25 for really, really good products. Um, so that's why that's why I love about, I think almost all the products that I mentioned in the videos. Yeah, a lot of these are drugstore, which yeah. I love. Yeah, but the Bliss sunscreen, awesome, highly recommend. And I would love like, I don't, even if you like put it in this video or like, um, even if you want to message me, hear your experience with these products. Oh, I plan to do a video <laughs> trying the higher skincare routine. That's why I have, awesome. I'm going to be getting all these products because I plan to see how this works out because I feel really good about it. Yeah, I think I think you'll really like all of them. Um, you know, uh, the goal is for me, at least for one of the routines, have you find a product where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. This is life changing for the rest of my life. I need this every day. Do you know what product I like? Again, this was always sold out every time I'd hear you talk about Which it. One? And I'm not, you're not gonna be surprised. The Youth to the People oh, Pale yep, yep. Cleanser. Oh, I love that cleanser. And then everyone started loving that cleanser <laughs> and it became so hard to find. Yes, that. That is an amazing one. Did you use it? No, I've still never used what? it. Oh my gosh, okay, let me send that to you because that one's great. And Do you think that works. would be good for my skincare routine? I'd say in the more humid environments, okay. it's good. I always recommend that one for like combination to oily skin okay. because it really deeply cleanses. Not great for dry climates where people have dry skin um, in the majority of cases. So let me send it to you. You can use it in the rainforest. Use the kale green tea experience Perfect. as you know, you're looking out into the humid Tropics. Well, it's not tropics. I'm, I'm excited. I'm yeah. excited. And is there any like exfoliants or or acne treatment if I do get a breakout or like anything you recommend? Mm. You know, honestly, for breakouts and an overall exfoliating experience, if you want something that literally I call my miracle products because the way that it gets rid of breakouts is like so incredible. The Paul's Choice 2% BHA Exfoliating Solution. Okay. And you find it at Sephora. Um, you can find it, I think, at Ulta, like all over the place. Um, you use the tiniest little bit. Um, I've used it on my nose for like my pores. And I wake up in the morning and I'm just like, ah, it's not physiologically possible for a product to make your pores smaller. But I'm like, why do my pores look smaller? This is insane. And every time I use it on a breakout, it always helps get rid of the breakout. And it's one of the best selling um, like acne products out there. So okay. I highly recommend that one. And a full bottle, I mean, it takes like forever 
ever like to years do to get through. Yeah, it. exactly. It's like, expired. It'll expire. Yeah. Even... <laughs> Does that pretty much like cover everything? Yeah, I feel like, and I because I feel like a makeup remover, like you can kind of use the same mm -hmm. in both climates. Like I feel like that's yeah. one of those things. Like it's on the skin, it's off the skin. Yeah. It's not gonna, especially because you're cleansing after. Exactly. Like I feel like. I can just use that same cleansing balm for both. Yes. Well, that's that's pretty much the entire routine. So I will wait. Like... Okay. No. Now I need to know the eye creams since Hiram has oh, changed his right. stance on yes. eye creams. So I used to be like very critical of eye creams, and like in some ways I still am because it just really depends. Like I think like the eye creams that are just moisturizing or hydrating, I'm like you can just use a moisturizer for that. Just use it. Where I've kind of changed a little bit on my stance is like eye creams that treat dark circles mm -hmm. and help to get rid of dark circles because that's such a unique issue for the face and it's, you don't always want to use everything that you use on your face on your under eye area because the under eye area is the most sensitive part of the face. So I have this one, let me get it. I'm so <laughs> curious. Yeah, that makes sense because why would like a oh, face sorry. moisturizer target the issue of dark circles under the, under the eye? Sometimes face products can be a little strong, a little overly strong. Um, and you just don't want to irritate the under eye area. But this one is the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Power Eye Ooh, I cream. love the packaging. Mm -hmm. And it's, it is pretty expensive, I will it say. It feels it. But I use the tiniest little bit and oh my gosh, the first time I used it, when I woke Ooh. up in the morning, I was like, how are my dark circles actually like reduced? It doesn't have the best smell. Yeah, what is <laughs> <laughs> It's the vitamin C in it. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that helps brighten. I've been really impressed. I'm almost like ashamed to admit I love this one because it's more luxury, but I do love this Ooh, one. Ooh, the texture's beautiful though. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. You use a tiny bit, like literally like half of a pea size for both of the eyes and you're good. It's really nice texture. Yeah. But yeah, we got eye creams, we got moisturizers, we got cleansers, cleansing balm, sunscreen. I think we're good. I feel like we've done it. You've built me a skincare routine and be on the lookout for the video of me trying yes. the skincare routine. By the way, we're also doing TikToks. We're doing yes. all the things. So head over to our TikToks, Hiram's all of his socials will be linked below, but I know you already follow him, so it's probably pointless. But they'll all be down there, so don't worry. And um, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go give Hiram a facial. Yep. Wish me luck. Oh. <laughs> I'm nervous. Are you as no. nervous as I I'm am? I'm not nervous. I know you'll do a good job. Yeah, you'll be great. I'm sure it'll be a lovely experience, but I am excited to see how you kind of use these products and how it's gonna be different from how, how, how you I usually do it. apply them. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm not gonna tell you anything. It's okay. gonna be a shock. Oh, Lord. Okay, okay. But thank you so much for having me on your channel. I really, really appreciate it. No, thank it. you Look for doing so this with me. Of course. And thank you for just being who you are. You're such a, like I said, such a literal ray of sunshine on the internet. And it's so lovely to meet you in person and see that you're exactly who I expected you to be. <laughs> and uh, until next time, you guys can click over here to watch this video or right on Hiram's face. There right, go, here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> to watch that one. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.